Phyllis Schlafly, a well-known conservative who has said any number of outrageous things over the last, I don't know, many, many years. A name that makes many people vomit in their own mouths a little bit uh, spontaneously. Right. Well, she decided to make a analysis, to do an analysis of why is it that Hispanics, or as she describes them, Latinos, aren't conservatives. This was on, um, she was on the Clay and Marty show. Let's listen to what she had to say. I'm sure it's a brilliant analysis. Why aren't Latino voters Republicans? I think the Republican Party, this is a, a subject that we talk about here quite a bit. Um, the minority community, you know, w there's a lot of uh, Hispanics here in Kern County and in, in California. You know, socially, they should be Republican because they have the same fa family value ethic we do. They feel the same way about the abortion issue. Yet the minority community is, is Democrat. Have we dropped the ball as Republicans with the minority community? No, I think I think the Republicans have misread the ball. Uh, I don't think they uh, have Republican inclinations at all. They're running an illegitimacy rate that's just about the same as the, the blacks are. <laughs> and the plain fact is they come from a country uh, where they have no experience with limited government. Let's stop it right there. They come from a country where they have no experience with limited government. Latinos come from a, a, a country. What country is that? W which country do Latinos come from? I guess she's referring to all of them. I think she's referring to Mexicans. I think that that's when I see someone talk about Latinos or Hispanics and then speak in a way which really references one country. I think they're just assuming Latino means Mexican a ton. I think that she doesn't know what she's referring to. Maybe she doesn't even know. OK, let's continue a little bit more. And uh, the types of rights we have in the Bill of Rights, uh, they, uh, they don't understand that at all. You can't even talk to them about uh, what the Republican principle is. OK, that's, uh, that's, that's good. So let's analyze this piece by piece. Number one, she talked about illegitimacy. Speaking of illegitimacy and political orientation, if you look at young white women in red states, versus young white women in blue states, you will see significantly higher levels of so-called illegitimacy in the red states. So I don't know that so you can kind of you can slice up statistics any way you want. The other thing is that in Argentina, where I'm from, a, a, a Catholic country, mostly Catholic country, which is what they mean when they say family values. When she says they come from a country, let's assume it's any any country or most countries in, in Latin and South America. They say, um, OK, they don't understand the differences between governments or anything like that. They should be conservative in Argentina, where, like I said, it's a very Catholic country. There's a perfectly good understanding there of the differences between governments and what it means to be of conservatism, of not conservatism. And people are still very liberal. So I don't even I think that the paradigm is wrong, Lewis, to assume that in the U.S., if you're religious, you vote for what is the American Republican Party mo mostly translates to other parts of the world necessarily. That's maybe a little too nuanced for Phyllis. Well, that's another discussion, I guess. But uh, yeah, uh, the, it's uh, her opinion, her her thoughts on this are very presumptive. And, you know, uh, she is it really makes it sound like she just assumes that these people are stupid and don't, yeah. don't know what they're doing. Isn't that, really, simple. isn't that really the core of it, Natan? Yeah, I just want to point out that this idea that, uh, you know, immigrants, in this case, uh, Hispanic immigrants, don't know about the Bill of Rights the way Americans do. They actually the have average, to. The average citizenship test uh, requires much more knowledge than the average person will find in any city in the country. Yeah, no question about it. If anything, they may know more if they're naturalized citizens. 